the what's going on toxic gamers we need to immediately talk about this situation okay because we got a massive drama going on in call of duty community <laughs> of course people are split between it man concord shutting down but i have to say okay people are fighting around so much x to find me also get shut down too bro people are fighting so much with call of duty all i'm saying here is that guys it is better than concord guys and come on man it's better than concord bruh but apparently something else just happened shout out to the homie nero cinema like the video if you just want a good game fellas dislike the video if you want that if dislike the video if you want cheaters hackers skill based matchmaking trash ass games microtransactions <laughs> like the video if you want none of it Check this out, roll it. It's beta. Wait, wait. Activision has a huge problem on their hands right now because believe Love it or it. not, the Black Ops 6 beta is being flooded with hackers and there's not really much they can do. They're trying their best, but in doing so, they're banning thousands of legitimate players out there. More and more people every single day are taking the social media and Reddit to let people know that they were temporarily banned within Black Ops 6. For Call of Shame is gonna have a field day, but here's the thing though, right? Is are these like all false positives or some of them might be right? Cause realistically there's gonna be, there's bound to be some false positives, which means in simple English, which means is that people that were not cheating ended up getting banned. Yeah, right, but once you get banned, people are not gonna believe you ass those. So. For essentially no reason, even Carnage Apollo, uh. who was live streaming at the time, got banned live on stream. Now, Activision did give him no. his account back, but that is not happening to everybody. Sometimes if you're a YouTuber, a live streamer, an influencer, which is like the worst word in the world, if you're one of those people, it's pretty easy to get your account back, but if you're just yeah. an average COD player... Uh, wrong. wrong. Not true, though. For some influencers, you have to say, okay, it, it depends on what kind of influencer you are. If you are, uh, yeah, 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 if you are an influencer like the homie blame truth, oh man, if you get banned, <laughs> if you get banned, these things are never gonna unban you. And then, of course, we're gonna have a really good video out of it, uh, for sure. But you feel what I'm saying, right? It's just for the whitelisted streamers or streamers that are so positive that can be whitelisted, so and you get falsely banned within Black Ops 6, there's really not much you can do. And they're yeah. throwing out 30-day bans like they're free sticker bundles in the Modern Warfare 3 shop. It's wild. It's ridiculous. But finally, they did go ahead and give us an update on Twitter where they say, during the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 beta, we are testing features and monitoring telemetry. Team Ricochet is being proactive with detections during the beta to stamp out illicit and comp... It's Ricochet, bro compromised accounts across all platforms. The tuning for these detections is also in test during the beta. The oh, wow. team will continue to make adjustments to reduce issues players have been experiencing while maintaining our commitment to remove cheaters, then go check out their website and all that nonsense. Basically, they're just acknowledging the fact that they are falsely banning Holy. so many of these people out there, while the people who are actually cheating are not being banned. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the real crux of Cheaters and hackers are always two, two light years ahead. I was gonna say two steps ahead, but now it's two light years ahead. This guy, firing dopamine, loving the game, <laughs> living legend, as some might like to call it. <laughs> you right? Uh, when I say some might call him, I mean the cheaters would call him, not like the actual players, right? But holy crap, man. These suckers enjoying the game. These, <laughs> these suckers are playing the game. Done, not even getting banned. I would say some of them do get banned. I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess, but they're always gonna re-pop up, right? It's like the bed bugs. Even if you leave one bed bug around, they're gonna multiply, though. They're gonna multiply. So these uh, cheaters are like bed bugs, bro. The entire situation. It's so easy to cheat in Black Ops 6 that if somebody gets banned, they're back within a couple of minutes. Like, that's there just how go. things go. Bumble you guys club. saw my video yesterday, right, where I tested out skill-based matchmaking and proved how ridiculously thick it is within this game. It's so simple to make a new account. You make a new Activision ID. All it takes is a brand new burner email. You then buy the $1 PC Game Pass subscription, which which you can refund to get your one dollar back if you want to be super stingy and then you have the black ops 6 beta you can jump right in and cheat to your heart in urdu i would like to say mujhe maro mujhe maro yaha pe mujhe maro yaha pe ye activision tada kakh na rahe ta nu panch ungli ali lanat peja pejo kutte de bachyo uh, that, that, this is gonna be the new kryptonite ladies and gentlemen 
One dollar, <laughs> one dollar PC Game Pass. Oh my God, bro! Seconds, yeah, seconds gonna be like, you know, back in the days, you would be like, oh, so you want some Tic Tac? Back in the days, seconds would be passing Tic Tacs in public bathroom. Nowadays, this is gonna be the new joint. Yeah, seconds used to grow Nesquik in the backyard. Would pass Tic Tacs in public bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that, guys. Drink water, do push-ups, live life. But live life to the fullest, but don't live life to the fullest. I live in nah, not that kind of fullest. Okay, live life to the fullest when you're aware of your surroundings. So when you're healthy, that's when you live life to the fullest. Okay, like the video for the advice right there. Yay. Like the video for the bro talk out here, okay? But here's the thing though. Nowadays it's like, hey, so you wanna cheat, bro? You wanna get that dope me? Buy one dollar PC game pass on your burner email. Right? Yeah, there we go. It's over, man. It's Joe over and one dollar PC game pass beautiful thing beautiful thing amazing thing ever okay I'm gonna be the last one that will be against that okay because yeah you pay one dollar and you can <laughs> you can pay like you can play hundreds of games or oh, thousands of games oh hell yeah okay but I wouldn't be shocked if these suckers actually uh, if Xbox Microsoft shuts that down after they find out that suckers are using this to cheat a lot in the game you feel what I'm saying so everything good turns to crap right now is what we're seeing in gaming it's content unless they really up their anti-g i don't think there's really much they can do to combat cheaters in this year's game because with game pass it is now easier than ever to get a brand new version of the game again for one freaking dollar you can get access to pc game pass which is where all the mods and hacks are coming from by the PC, way it's yeah. on pc for one dollar you can get PC. they need and i've been screaming this for a while they need playstation and xbox only cross the cross play absolutely <laughs> And, and this is the 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 memo right memento memo is that what you say uh f activision love that but hey man this is not the way it's cut g this is not these are not the ways bro see game pass go play until you get banned if you get banned at all and then start all over again you may be thinking to yourself i don't hate the pc players there needs to be crossplay on between everybody like there is already so don't let go of that but there needs to be an other option we need that other option being added right now PlayStation and Xbox only crossplay to uh, to stop it from happening. Well, that just frequently. sounds stupid. Who would keep on cheating, getting banned, then cheating, then getting banned, then cheating? Have you met the cheaters? This is what they do. This is how $1. they have fun, apparently, in video games, man. It makes $1. no sense to me. I'm sure it doesn't make sense to most of you out there either, but you know what? That's what they do, and it's ridiculously easy now. And I have a sneaking suspicion, right? If everything in Call of Duty now is being run off the Call of Duty HQ, which I freaking hate, and every game is essentially being made on the same engine, then in theory, that might make it easier for the people out there who are making these sheets and maintaining these sheets to continue to pump them out and to tie this all into my video from yesterday we proved how ridiculous skill-based matchmaking is in the game right so if you're in that more like upper echelon of skill-based matchmaking where every match feels like there's money on the line who's to say all those people in your lobby aren't cheating like sometimes it's very obvious right when they have like aimbot cranked up to infinity and they're just snapping on the people across the map and they almost have you know these robotic movements it's very easy to tell that way but in some of these other cheats which you guys are seeing where they can just see everybody all of the time that is a lot harder for people in the game to be able to detect and report right and the reporting system itself is completely borked anyway like hypothetically if six of you are playing in a party and you guys got into my lobby if you guys all reported me at one I guarantee I would get banned like that's how that works. Like, that's why so many people are being banned within black ops 6 Damn. They say it's not automated. They say that actual people review these things, but it's not true nah, This is Activision, nah, nah. but most like if you're a high-profile streamer uh, if, if, This is something that call of shame actually brought up like many months ago I believe a year or two years ago at this point, right? Like if, if you're a big streamer and you're getting spammed reported like crazy nothing's gonna happen in a way kind of makes sense because you know, if a streamer is well known, for example, Face Swag. Oh my God, I played with Face Swag, guys. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Right? Uh, yeah, the kids would be like that, right? If Face Swag showed up in a lobby, there would, they're bound to be some of his haters. They're bound to be some fans, even. They're like, you know what? Just for funsies, just for like, yeah, you know what? Let's troll a little bit. We like trolling a little bit, and they spam report him. If this is true, yeah, right? Like, he would get banned, but Activision knows that, so they're not gonna ban him. There's a rules for thee, but not for me kind of situation, right? Yeah, rules for... It's like a privilege. You get that privilege. Oh, you're just privileged, right? Strong, independent, and all that, right? So you get the privilege. Understandable, but you know what? Rules should be same for everybody. And this is pathetic. So if people get spam reported, 
Does that mean that they deserve a ban? Nah, man. Come on, man. Get out. Of, uh, miss me with that, bro. Most importantly, it's Activision Blizzard. And the same thing happened on the Blizzard side of things in World of Warcraft. The same thing happened in Overwatch. Some live streamers and YouTubers Holy. proved this a while ago. All it takes is getting a bunch of people together and then having all those people at the same time report the same person. Then instantly that person gets banned no matter yeah. what. No questions asked. They might get their None. account back later on after it's reviewed. But up front, it's going to be automated. So it just takes a couple of people and anyone can get banned in this game. What Bruh. an absolute shit show this is, man. Bruh. What an absolute shit show show and not to mention like again and, and i'm assuming if you get in if you get banned in the beta you that means you're also banned when the game comes out right you're banned on all the call of duty games because yeah they they, they got parody right call of duty hq is like yeah if you get if you get banned on any game that's linked with call of duty hq that means you're banned automatically on all the other call of duty games i, I believe on that email i don't think it's like a console ban kind of thing it's like it's a it's an email ban thing. So if you go ahead and I I, I could be wrong. I, I don't know about it, but I'm assuming that the gameplay that you guys are watching here, these people aren't getting banned. Absolutely not. It's always the people that are just playing the game normally that get banned. Get banned. Yet people who are clearly cheating nonstop never end up getting banned. I remember I made a video in X Defiant. This is even like a COD related thing, but it's tangentially related, I suppose. I found a hacker in X Defiant, my first ever hacker in that game, right? And I made a video kind of showing everything, you know, and we reported them and all that. Well, a couple of days later, maybe a week later, I checked the tracker.gg website where you can like okay. see people's stats and everything. He never got banned he's still running around playing enjoying hacking and cheating and whatnot within the game like it just it freaking blows my mind man like the people love it love it there you go activision we love it man we love activision out here man you know they're the first ones to ban innocent people they're the first one i wish i could say psych but they're the first one to drop they're the first one to drop bundles microtransactions they're always first to be the first to have something crazy like skill based matching yeah they're the i mean we had skill based matching prior but it wasn't like that crazy and i don't think there has been any other game with that crazy of skill based matching there is a little bit right okay okay but like with activision that being a science experiment a human live experiment right that's what's going on with skill based matching that's what these seconds be doing they're always the first when it comes to something trash, something garbage, these things are always the first one at it. They're like, hey, we love to be first at being trash, at being garbage. <laughs> yeah, like that's Activision right there. Yeah, Activision, take that medal, take that ribbon. Yeah, Captain BBC Online, Captain BBC Online. Yeah, they're always the first one. Yeah, there we go, bros. People who are actually cheating never get banned, but the people who are playing honestly are the people that do get banned, getting 30-day bans, getting 90-day bans, being yeah, shadow it. banned. There's so many people being shadow banned within Black Ops 6 right now, and if you guys want to check to see if you're shadow banned, I'll put a link to it down there in the description. You have to basically go to the Activision Ban Appeal website. What you the go hell? there, you log in via your Activision ID, and it will tell you if you're shadow banned on the website, and what shadow banning does... Yeah! no ban detected can people actually report your activision id just by looking at it <laughs> just by looking at it um I, I don't know how that works man oh man i'm paranoid out here because so many people can get banned that way though that's that's crazy call of shame is gonna have a field day he's gonna have a field day for sure does is it extremely limits your matchmaking so you only play with other shadow banned people it makes your connection even worse because you can't connect the servers around you it's just gonna throw you on the random servers basically with a bunch of other people who are also shadow banned oh, i forgot it's been so long that i haven't got a ruthless how many kills that is 10 kills 15 kills or 20 i i forgot bro i know blood <laughs> Oh man, I only remember Bloodthirsty, <laughs> holy crap! Man, post skill based matchmaking era, I just remember, <laughs> I just remember Bloodthirsty, damn it. Uh, and I don't play Call of Duty that much either nowadays. I, 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 I've been liking Black Ops 6, I think it's better than Concord. I think it's better than uh, Dustmourne. Come on guys, it's better than Dustmourne, man. Like damn bro, like what are we talking about, man? Like, it's better than Dustmourne, damn it. I know some people hating on it, some people calling it trash. Fair. Some people loving it. Some people call it a best game ever. Uh, not really fair. It's not the best game ever. Bruh. But okay, whatever, right? I'll give it, okay? Fair. Fair, okay? If you like it, you like it. You don't like it, you don't like it. All I'm saying here is that. All I'm saying here is that. At least it's better than Concord and Dustmore. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? At least, guys. At least, man. Listen, man. We, we gotta be... We gotta be realistic here, man. At least it's better than that... 
uh, Concord game that is now shutting down because they're losing so much money and people not playing it. Right? At least it's better than that. Damn, man. What are we talking, bro? What are we talking, and then man? It just creates, like, the worst gaming experience pretty much ever. Activision, you guys got to figure this shit out, man, because this is freaking embarrassing. It's the year 2024, and Call of Duty is still being overrun with hackers, and now that Microsoft took over and Game Pass yeah, is going over. to be a thing, especially the PC Game Pass, I'm not sure if there's going to be any end in sight when it comes to this, because it's so easy for people to make... And it's ridiculously sad, right? Like, it's a good way to get people into Game Pass, we're not talking about whether Game Pass uh, deteriorates games quality. We're not having that topic. We're just generally speaking, right? Uh, we've, we talked about that numerous times already. But on its own, $1 trial for Game Pass? Yeah. I, I'm assuming it's per week or per month. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't have Game Pass myself, okay? Bruh. But but generally speaking, yeah, $1 per month, I guess, trial? Good thing. This crap, all of this crap is going down. I would not be surprised. I would not be shocked if they take that ability away and that's gonna suck that's gonna suck because i mean yeah oh hell yeah one dollar trial once and then you dive in if you like it i like that i like that i think it's better i think it's better but holy crap i think these suckers are gonna get rid of that now make new accounts get a one dollar game pass subscription refund their one dollar even and then jump back into the game and keep on cheating keep on modding keep on hacking and keep on ruining an already pretty freaking sweaty experience ladies and gentlemen there you guys have it there's my little update check out this video on the screen i don't think you guys are ready for this video this video actually has footage it shows the real horrors of skill-based matchmaking and what happens when you bypass it. You want to know how to bypass skill-based matchmaking? Well, there's your video in Black Ops 6. Check out this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.